Hello, Raven again with another axolotl video and today I'm going to show you how to do a water change in your axolotl's tank. The thing that makes this a little complicated, at least for me, is that the water temperature right now is at a nice 63 degrees and my tap water is hotter than that so we don't want to make a big temperature spike in the axolotl tank. In order to avoid any stress from water currents or temperature spikes in the axolotl tank, I'm going to take my axolotl out. So I need a tub. For this, you're also going to want a way to remove and add water. I'm using a python hose. You can use um, gallon jugs or whatever you want to use. But the python hose helps me vacuum up things. So here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your tub, and like I said, my tap water is warmer than the axolotl's water, so I have a gallon jug here that is of refrigerated tap water. I also have um, prime water conditioner to take out the chlorine from the tap water. And just like in the previous video, you just fill it up to like how high your hand is, put some prime water conditioner in it, make sure it's cold, and then get ready to catch your axolotl. Some people use a net. I like to use my hand because I know he won't get his fingers caught in it or his gills. Just gently cup him and uh, coax him out of the water and quickly put him in the tub so that he doesn't dry out or anything. This should never be out of the water too long. And then you can put him in a dark corner somewhere while you do the water change. Before I do a good vacuum, I like to put all of the decorations inside of the two pots. Ta-da! Now it is time to plug in and uh, put together the python hose. With the hose working, I'm going to suck up things, and if you want a tutorial on how to put together a python hose, I can do that later, too. I've already stirred up the sand, so what you want to do is just use the python hose to try and suck up as much stuff that's on top of the sand without sucking up the sand itself as much as possible. This is about a 50 to 60 percent water change, but this step is the most important step before you put new water in your tank go ahead and condition the water that's already in your tank for as much water as your tank holds not as much water as you're putting in your tank because you want your water to be dechlorinating as it's going in your tank so that it keeps your beneficial bacteria safe and you don't end up crashing your system I have made this mistake it's terrible dose your water with conditioner before you add new water in please here it is as proof. I am dosing my water first and then I'm about to add water back in. Obviously put your water on the lowest setting and fill it up to just below where you want it because we're going to do something else special. Okay, we're almost there. We have a little space at the top. So what I'm going to do is take the rest of the water in the refrigerated jug and pour it in there just to keep the water more cool and hopefully we'll be able to put the axolotl in the tank really soon. Put all your decorations back the way they were. Ta-da! And as you can see, the water is actually at 61, so we can go ahead and put our axolotl back in the tank. And there we go, back in the tank. Turn on your filters. Make sure um, every once in a while you squeeze out these sponges, but only one at a time so you don't kill your bacteria. And that's how you change the water in an axolotl tank. I hope this video helped um, alleviate some stress with the water temperature and everything like that. It's really not that bad on the axolotl. And uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.